Alright everybody, welcome back for our next part of Breath of Fire, where we leave off, or we start right where, immediately where we left off, and uh, what, you mean you guys don't recognize this? Did you miss a part? No, I swear to god, this is actually legitimately where we left off, and uh, this is kind of why I wanted to have that little weird cliffhanger at the end as an extra little edit, which may have felt kind of weird, but uh, yeah, so we went to sleep in the castle, and when we wake up, we suddenly transform into this chick with wings and dyed hair and a pink jumper and got a sex change and all that good stuff totally just happened so you know there's our king um for those who were reading the text at the end of the last video he's sick or dying or whatever and needs some remedy and uh haters gotta hate but some people gotta die too it's just the way things are you know this is a dirty little princess we're gonna we're gonna wash up a little bit before we go just waking up and her breath is probably terrible her breath is probably terrible so Anyway, we're going to wander around our castle just a little bit and steal from ourselves. Oh, see? There we are. We're still sleeping there. We're still sleeping there. So, as I'm taking some treasure chests, um, for those of you who watched the part three about technical difficulties, I, uh, I had a fairly decent job with um, some test runs. Um, sometimes the audio was about a second behind, but in an RPG you can't really tell very much. Um, it was a little bit more apparent in the Turtles in Time video, but um, things seem to be okay. Um, there's still a little, a few errors to work out here and there, but it's not too bad. And uh, the frames seem to have fixed themselves with a couple of the changes that I did from you guys that they recommended. So um, that's all the treasure chests we can get from here for now. There are there are some treasures up in here we can't get to yet. But we definitely want to make a mental note that, hey, the Windia basement, or Winlin, I guess it's Winlin. I'm going to call it Windia, so deal with it. Uh, basement has some treasure chests in there that I want, so... Anyway, we are now Princess Nina. Um, I might call her Princess Maria a couple of times during the course of the game, because that's pretty much what she is. And, uh, can I go this way, actually? Oh, I can go under the bridge like a troll! Lo, 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 lo. And we're just going to take the quick way out of town. And leaving the castle all by ourselves, like a big girl. I don't know why they just let the princess walk away like that. The princess is in a, has, has left the castle. And uh, we're going to put some of, this, some of this stuff on her that we found. Um, let's see what's better here. I do want her, mag her magic higher, but uh, I think I'm going to take the higher defense and higher action. In this case, or no, higher defense is lower action. Oh crap. Um, so you know what? Screw it. I'm going to take the higher action and the higher magic over the one defense. She's got a dress on, so that's, you know, that's very defensive. Just walking right out of the castle in your royal dress, eh, lady? Whatever. We're going to enter in this cave, because, you know, that's what princesses do on their night on the town. And a couple of dudes walk up, and they heard what's going on. That's good, because I haven't heard what's going on. And it's too dangerous to go alone, so I'm going to have these goons come along with me, which is fine. I'll let them take all the hits. I don't want to deal with that garbage. Do a little circle, and now we're going to start changing some stuff. I'm going to have... Oops, that's not what I wanted. Whoa, that's not what I wanted either. Come on. There we go. I'm going to put Nina in the th third spot, and... Actually, yeah, we'll leave it right there, and then uh, put her in the back row so she takes less damage. She'll deal less damage, but that's not going to be a problem. Taking less damage is more important for her. She is our mage and our healer for the time being. And thus, you don't really want to stay in the front row in cases like that. So, what am I doing? Just auto battle. Finish this guy off. These soldier guys aren't terrible. Um, they're obviously not going to stick around for the whole remainder of the game. But for the time being, you know, they make sure they give you enough to deal with. As we're going to be walking around. Um, I don't know which way is the way to go, so I'm going to go down. If I'm in a cave, that means eventually I have to go up to get out. That means I'm going to go down to get out. Or down to go where I feel like I want to go. Because um, in an RPG, you want to go the way that isn't the mandatory way. Because that's going to be the way that's got all the loot. That's going to be the way that has all the stuff and the secrets, so 
We're going to spam some E key, and uh, going the wrong way is actually going the right way in RPGs. Um, and as you saw, Nina using that E key for 30 points, she's going to use that the entire game long, no joke. Um, that's essentially going to be her attack. And, uh, you know, that's perfectly fine, so not a problem to have her in the back row. It's definitely advantageous. Get some more suede gear. Get some more GP, some gold pieces. And a couple more beaks. We're just going to auto battle, take care of these guys. I seem to be able to take care of stuff in one hit. Um, that is, as long as I go first. But I don't, always. Get some more EXP. It's possible if you want, you can kill off one of the soldiers, and uh, Nina will get some more EXP that way. Um, but that's not how we roll, because that's mean. We want to hit these Gloom guys first, so that's why I'm highlighting them instead of just auto battling. And then Nina's going to use some E key, because the Gloom guy's got a magic attack that hurts a little bit more, so let's not get hit by it. And uh, just finishing it. What? Well, good thing Iki hits everybody. So that's cool. Take care of those dudes. They're leaving me lots of herbs, which is real nice. Thanks, guys. Picking up some iron ore. I don't know. I don't remember what that does. It does something. It's a key, it's a key item. It's important. I don't remember exactly what it does, though. So I'm just going to hold on to it for the entire game, and we'll go from there, eh? Take care of these dudes. And oops, keep on going, but go the right way this time, eh? Dun. So, here we are. We're in this little sewer thing, or sewer, cave thing, whatever. And uh, as far as story is concerned, we've taken control of Nina while Ryu is sleeping. And, uh, you know, just invite the random guest to sleep in the castle that he just walked into. Why not? If I was homeless, I would totally ask to see the king, because they would let me sleep in their bed. That'd be sweet. Um, but, uh, let's see here. So Nina has left in the middle of the night to go find something to help heal her sick dad. Some remedy. Um, I don't know where this remedy is. Maybe they know. Maybe I just you know, overlook that little text box, but, uh, this is the only way I can get to, so this is where I'm gonna go. Got a treasure chest over here with an herb. Not sure what this remedy is supposed to do, where I can get it, how it's hard it's gonna be to get. I'm tired of using all this E-key stuff. Just auto-battle. Just kill them all! Look at that stab. Look at that. She... Teleports above you and stabs you in the cranium, you know, right through from the corona of your brain down through your spinal cord in a vertical direction. You think that would hurt a lot more, but no, it doesn't really hurt at all. Um, just auto battle, just get rid of these dudes. Taking some damage, no big deal. I can manage. Alright. Ah, more random battles. That is the downside to some RPGs, especially older ones, especially Japanese RPGs, as uh, they tend to throw a lot of random battles at you, um, which on one hand it's good because you need random battles to level up. Um, if you have a lot of random battles, it can often prevent you from needing to grind, something else RPGs like to make you do, but uh, if you have too many, then it's kind of boring, kind of annoying, so... There's stairs leading up, so that means that's the way to go. That means that's the way we don't want to go. And uh, we're going to have Nina heal herself now. Look at her magic a little bit. She gets cure, she gets fort, she gets heal. I think heal gets rid of poison, if I'm not mistaken. And fort is like a protect or a defense up or something like that. Um, and then cura is obviously for hit points, so we're going to go with that. Um, and uh, in this game, depending on what action you do... It can change who goes first in what order and stuff like that. It can change your action order. So as you saw, Anina's been going third the whole time, and then I switch to a spell and she goes first. So casting magic usually makes you go first, um, speeds you up, which is great when you need to heal. If you need to heal, cast a heal spell and you'll likely go first as we pick up a B stun. Not sure what these B stuns are, but whatever. Um, 
Likewise, if you need to use an item, it usually makes you go a little bit quicker as well, as opposed to basic attacks, which is slower, or offensive attacks, which are a little bit slower. So, just the way the game works. And here we go, we see some stairs on the right, so we're gonna go left. And hey, a treasure chest. Simplistic stuff here. And I guess we'll attack these dudes and use some E key because there's lots of guys. Bam! Bam! See, the E key doesn't make me go faster, unfortunately. That'd be really broken. Dominate the game and go faster. <laughs> it's already broken enough that I have it in the first place. <sighs> there we get a C stun. So, this game has a bad habit of, like, translation issues and stuff. Um, Capcom wasn't really good on translating their stuff for, you know, keeping their names consistent. Like that fort spell, when I use it, it's gonna go on the tagline of petrify. Which, no, it's not petrify, it's like, fortify. And I, I, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing, but here we are, we're in a town. Um, there's Einstein over here, we'll talk to Einstein. Um, oh, he sat all the girls have left. You creepy old bastard. They left because of you. You're sitting over there wondering, you know, what you can get from these girls. So we're going to walk into the inn, but we're not going to stay. We're going to take some L potion, which I think that's actually luck. If that's the case, I'm going to use it. Um, L potion. Oh, stun and potion. Those are different things. Um, I think that's luck. Let me just verify. Your luck will increase. Okay. Your strength will increase. Alright, so I don't want to use the uh, strength on Nina, but I will give her some luck. Why not? I don't care. It's luck. It's kind of like the least important stat ever. Um, so we're going to put some iron ore down at the bottom. Equipment we can finally sell. So that's cool. Give her some robe. Actually, did I, did I find any equipment? I wasn't even looking at what I picked up, honestly. So I have no idea. Um, get some consumables over here. Um, status stuff over here. More consumables. Move sea stun over here. Put the stuns above the potions. Iron ore is a key item, so I don't know what I'm going to do about this iron ore. But, uh... There we go. So that's organized as far as I feel like for the moment. Um, but equipment, I didn't check any equipment. She's wearing a dress, but okay, robe is for somebody else. Uh, there we go, that's a little bit better. Oh yeah, defense goes up, action goes up by a lot, and uh, even her magic goes up, so that's totally better. Um, Wow, look at that, taking her dress on and off. Jeez, what a bad... I'm totally kidding. Um, and then actually, we're going to steal these dudes' equipment a little bit. And, uh, maybe? Maybe not? Are they wearing the same things? Alright, I guess because Nina's wearing this straw hat, I can't steal one of their equipments. Um, I suppose I could. Let me see here. Let me give you the suede helmet, which is a little bit worse. But then I should be able to... Well, if the straw hat is better, then... I don't know, because before, when I was doing a test run, I was looking at taking one of their pieces of equipment and then selling it, because I'm not going to have them for forever, but uh, I guess I'll just leave it as it is. We're going to finish looking through this town. What can we find here? Oh, found a little hole there. We'll fall down there in a second. We're not going to go there yet. We're going to keep looking for some treasure while I'm here. Talk to an old granny. Oh, look at that! Everyone calls her grandma! I just called her granny without even knowing. Get some. We're gonna keep looking through these houses. No gear. More no gear. I'll take some apples, though, so I don't have to stay at an inn. Come on, some of these houses have to have something. Ah, some stairs. Let's see where we can go with the stairs. And hey, what do you know? There's a chest. What do you think? Money? Antidote? Herb? Oh, it's a proton B? Protein? I, I don't know what that is. Um, the game does a pretty bad job of naming things. So, 
We'll see. We'll have to figure stuff out. Sometimes it's going to have a, a line up at the top that we have no idea what it really stands for. Um, but I am going to get out of my way. I am going to go to the weapon shop just so I can sell all this backup gear that I'm holding now. Clean up some space, tidy up a little bit. I'm still not too concerned on buying equipment. Um, get rid of this robe for five bucks. No, oh, yes, I do want to sell. Get rid of this suede helmet, I don't care about. Get rid of this wooden shield, I don't care about. Get rid of this suede cap, I don't care about. And get rid of this dress. Look at that, 500 bucks for a dress. Because it's, you know, all like royal and rich people garbage. Iron ore, I can't even, can't select it, I can't sell it. So I don't, I don't exactly know what that does. I don't know what this Proton B does either, so I guess I'll find out. Um, but again, I don't care too much about buying anything here. So I'm just going to get out. Equipment at this point in the game is expensive, and it's not really that much better just yet. Because uh, so far I've been finding tons of gear, so... During a battle... Okay, so my guess... Oops. My guess is that it's like a more powerful stun type of thing. Ah! Ah! There we go. So that's how I think it's gonna look. There we go, now everything's nice and organized. We're looking good. We're mostly all healed up. We've sold our stuff. And uh, now we're gonna go investigate that little hole in the ground in this dude's house. Which house was that? Nope, this is Granny's house. This is where we wanna go. We're gonna fall in this dude's pit. And alright, so we live here secretly. There are quite a few of us. These jars are out of order, and the map is missing. Map was in keywords. And there's a locked gate here, which uh, we're gonna wanna take a mental note of that. And uh, we need to move these jars out of the way. So, first, let's push that. Then, I'm not sure, let's see here, can I push this? I can't push that, but I can push this over here, and push this last barrel, and I find a map! Alright! I don't know if that takes a spot in my inventory or not. Yes, it does, but we're going to use it, so we're going to move it all the way down here. I think I might even be able to put it at the bottom, because I don't think I can use it from my inventory. I think I use it from the world map. So, I push start, and yep, world map, here we go. This is what we've explored so far. Um, this is a nice little northeast southwest marker with a dragon on it. So, here we are. That's our map. That's what we have picked up. And now we got to go back in town so we can leave town and continue on to our next place. Um, I'm not going to save it just yet, just in case that this file doesn't record properly and I don't want to save it and lose my spot. So we'll just keep walking without a save file. We can game over! Make me repeat all this garbage. Just gonna go to our next area, walking in the forest. And I actually really don't want to fight in here. There's a lot of items to pick up, so I'm gonna use a couple Marble 3s. I probably should have bought some actually, but... We're just gonna put on a couple of repels. See if I can just find some gear. I'll get in plenty of random battles later, so... Right now I just want to find all the treasure chests, not miss anything. Here's one. Take an herb. Got some good music in here, though. Typical of this game. This game's got great music. I think old video games are where I got my love for good music for, seriously. Video games are, like, so good for you. You can learn so much from them. Oh, the Marble 3 no longer works. I don't know why it's called a Marble 3. We get a bandage, which I think, ironically, is actually a better hat. Or no, it's a shield. A bandage is a shield? What? Whatever, it's better for us, so we're gonna go with it. That makes no sense. And actually, while we're here, I'm gonna use one more marble. Um, move this equipment down here. And I'm gonna use another marble. I'll save two. But I'll, I'll stick with these. Uh, let's see, did I, I don't know if I skipped something up there or not. I'll find out while I don't have any random battles if I skip something or not. Um, doesn't look like it. Looks like this is actually just where I'm supposed to go. 
Because that looks a little blocked off. Okay. We're going to go up here, though. Nope, that's blocked off. I'm also a little bit lost in here, so that's another reason I didn't want to go through a million random battles. What? Okay, I didn't mean to get out. There's still treasure chests in here. How did that happen? I have no idea how that happened. Let's see here. I did something wrong. Anyway, I'm, I'm not going to use any more marbles. I'm just going to get in random fights from here on. Um, did I go up this way already? I don't think so. I don't know. There, now there's lots of ways to go. God, now I'm really lost. We got to fight with a spider dude. He's going to try and poison us, but that's okay. I'm just going to deal some damage. Well, I didn't need to go first. Ah, oh, he poisoned me. That sucks. I'll just have to have Nina heal it. No big deal. At least I'm assuming that this is heal. There we go. Yep, alright, so it is a heal. I'm just gonna keep going, looking for some treasures. Some more random battles. And it uh, looks like we're at 21 minutes-ish. Or no, it might be 20 minutes. We're at around where we need to be, so I'll probably just finish everything in this area, find all the loot, get out, and uh, we'll probably end our video after that, so... Hopefully everything is going to work out. Stab this little pea bug in the cranium. That's why you need a helmet. Charles, no! You got in my head. Alright, now there's two spiders, so I'm going to split the damage up and use an E-key. Just get all up in their grill. Doesn't kill him, but with with our powers combined... Don't! Oh, I'm slower. I killed the wrong one then. Take him out. Oh, Nina reaches level 6! Took a while to level up here. And she learned the spell Luck Up, which is kind of worthless. I don't care if my luck increases. Like, really? The theory is that I might get more critical hits. I might get more counterattacks. I might evade some damage. But who knows? I'm not going to waste a turn just to try and get lucky. I'm just gonna stab this muck in the head, which I would not think would be very effective, but whatever. That's why he should be immune to fighting types, eh? There we go. Last treasure chest, I believe, is right there. So, Lots of dudes that can poison me. So this time I'm absolutely going to uh, finish these dudes off with an earth key. Now I'm nice and fast. Mmm. Fast Earth Key for the win. And then Fast Soldier Dude for the actual win. Racking up some GP. Racking up some EXP. Racking up some Irbies. And now we're just going to get the heck out of this forest. We're sitting pretty well. Haven't had too many random fights, but we'll be okay. There's another one. Um, I'm just going to auto battle. I'm tired of menu selections. Although, actually, uh, okay, this was bad. Auto battle in this case was bad. Because now all my dudes are going to get poisoned. I didn't actually kill anything. So that was not beneficial at all. Kill the bug. Kill the bug. Nina should be able to finish off the spider. Alright, so there's that. Using my weakest attacker to finish off the weakest enemy. Going from there. And now i got to waste a lot of magic on freaking antidotes. So, I like to use magic before items, because magic you can restore items. Oh crap, not cure. God, bloody hell. Alright, well, so now I'm wasting stuff all over the place. I may as well just cure this dude. But, uh, so half my magic is now gone. Because I was trying, to, I was too lazy, but at the same time, like, too lazy to be fast. So, I don't know exactly what was going on with that. So we're just going to take it from here and use some Earth Key. Even though it feels a little bit slower because I have to go through a clunky menu. It's actually a little bit quicker, so that's fine. No. Alright, no big deal. I wish the music would like loop instead of resetting every time. That's a little unfortunate. But whatever. Whatever. 
Oh, swing and a miss. Strike one. Just gotta get out of here now. If I can remember the way. I think this is the way. Yep, looks good. Okay. So then we're just gonna take a step into here. It's our next dungeon. And there's some healing waters over here. So I'm gonna have to decide if I wanna go left, right, or down. I always go left in video games. I don't know why, I just do. So, drink some water. Everything is completely refilled. Our magic is refilled. Our hit points are refilled. And this is exactly where we're going to end our video. So, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to stick tuned for some more videos. Take it easy, guys. Peace.